Tom Gebhardt is president of Panasonic's Automotive Systems Company. I wanted to know more about Panasonic's connected car technology and what it has to do with sustainability. So there's two elements of what we do with it. It's inf infotainment, which means information entertainment. We understood the benefit of the entertainment piece of it, you know, bringing that experience into the vehicle. What we didn't fully understand is once we enabled the connectivity and brought information to the vehicle, how powerful could be in using that. So we can use that for purposes of better navigation, uh, convenience from a standpoint of finding sustainable places in an EV vehicle, for instance, of where you can charge or where you're going or the best path of where you're going. It, it reduces some of the anxiety of the range anxiety because now you're always connected and you know how far you are from a station rather than having to guess. And, and the internet enables all of that and to be able to bring that to the vehicle I think is critical going forward. Now, are you able to actually, do you have any data that can actually tell you things like, oh, I don't know, the average person wastes X amount of time searching for parking, and this technology can cut that out? We don't have the data so much of saying what the habits are, but we know what the need is. We know, especially in the vehicle, that there isn't a lot of time for search, where if you're on the internet externally, there's, there's quite a bit of time for search. So if you're very specific, you know your need, the application then speaks directly to what your solution is going to be, meaning I need charging stations or I need parking or I need direct access. That information can be much more readily available and then tailored to your need rather than trying to do a broad search or trying to do it on your own, even with the navigation systems that exist today that are more generalized. Now let's take that parking example because I think it's one of the ones that everybody can relate to. Um, it's going to take more than just the car, right? The parking lot itself has to have some technology. It's got to be communicating somehow. Is that part of your technology, or is that a matter of collaborating with uh, some of the other uh, companies and providers and everything else out there in that ecosystem? Today we're the receiver, so we're, we're the receiver of the data coming in. So we're trying to enable the vehicle to be able to be capable of bringing that data in in a way that is eloquent and not distracting to the driver. That's where we're focused, right? So from our standpoint, today we don't extend that uh, further. We, we see a ecosystem that's out there with government agencies and those other people in, in parking systems and such that should be able to enable that. But it's not a stretch to say that we could take it beyond that if we needed to. But right now we're focused on internal in the car and trying to deal with the driver. Got it. Now, speaking of distracted driving, there's also a strong safety element to all of this connectivity. Can you tell us a, a few of the features that maybe we'll see in the near future? So, safety, as you bring the internet into the vehicle, you inherently create many more problems or potential issues than you have today. So you can't, in our view, just bring it in the same way that you bring it to a tablet or you bring it to your computer or you bring it into your home. You've got to be able to deliver that in a way that is much more eloquent. So we don't think just having a number of apps in the vehicle is the solution. How you deliver it to the individual driver in a way that is personalized. So I think there's two elements to this. One, it has to be personalized. And secondly, it has to be delivered to the driver in a way that he's not scrolling and not watching the road. So we've got systems in place using the cloud to personalize the experience such that it will deliver through the car to the user in a way that is uh, and not distracting at all. So personalize your environment through the entertainment system and then even from a standpoint of enabling the safety devices such that it is making you aware of the things that are either coming or the things you should be aware of.